Welcome back to the bazaar. We have a massive drop. While I was gone, there was a new update to the website with a brand new board and brand new cards. This is going to be my first look at it. I've glimpsed at it, but I haven't looked at it properly. So this is going to be my initial reaction. Now I'm going to get rid of this because I'm jet lagged as hell and show you the new board. So there's a lot to see here. It looks a lot more like an actual game now. That is my sort of first initial off the top of my head. Before it looked like a piece of art, now you can clearly see there are cogs that can turn, for lack of a better phrase, uh, because there specifically are. So, I will just go... Let's do bigger things to smaller things, rather than just going top to bottom or whatever. We'll pick things out as we go along. So, the cards themselves are the first thing that draw my eye. I look right to the middle of the board and I see these beautiful cards. And they are set up slightly differently. But we still have all the same pieces, right? So let's take a look at the Repeater. The repeater is a medium weapon, which you can see when you hover over it, with six ammo, and every six seconds deals 75 damage. At least this version of it does. Uh, and then when you new use another item, ammo item, you also use this as its effect. What you see on the board, however, is this golden frame, the 40 damage at the top, the 12 money that it costs, and your six ammo represented by these little dots. Now, this is an example piece that we can also find on the website, but if we take our attention, turn our attention back towards the board, we can see this in a few other items. Let's look at, uh, let's look at this, um, I can't remember the name of the doll, uh, the little doll. Uh, they are going to be costing six, doing nine damage or healing, uh, I assume this one's damage uh, of some sort, but I can't quite tell. There's different colors for different things. I, so anyone that doesn't know, I'm colorblind, so these colors aren't very helpful for me. I really hope they implement some sort of at least shape to the uh, the background so that I know what's what. Uh, this one looks like a healing item if I had to guess. This is obviously a hatchet. It's probably doing damage, so I don't know what this one's doing. And then of course we've also got the frame rarities. So we saw this before. By the art. scaling levels of the item kind of auto battlery style auto chest style as we come to expect we've got our bronze uh these guys look silver we've got a gold down here uh, and i believe previously we saw a platinum but i haven't seen that i don't see that on this board yet either way the art looks good i this is in a merchant's shop i hope the price tags aren't displaying when you're in a battle I assume that's probably the case, but I hope these sort of vanish and you can see the full card effect and the full card arts going off. Because I think this is a bit, uh, a bit of unnecessary clutter during this. Um, we can see our player has this uh, mat behind the cards, uh, the carpet as it was uh, referred to before, that is specifying how much of their board they can use. So currently, I don't think they'd be able to add anything. Maybe a small item. It depends on exactly how much of this mat you can use, uh, like where the actual limits are and where the art just continues. So maybe they can have one more small item. Uh, but you can obviously pay to expand it. And when it's fully expanded, it'll look like Andy's mat, the merchant's mat there. Uh, next thing, I'm just going to go across. This is the next thing that caught my eye, is the uh, the new dial. So we've got a whole lot of stuff going on here. There's what one, two, th sorry, one, two, three, four, five events in a day, and then there's the final event, which I assume will be click to nighttime, do the battle. Uh, above this, so first of all, that's much shorter. We're only getting five events then a battle. I kind of like that. I like having those constant battles. Um, this is sort of a nice balance between how little time you have between battles and things like uh, super auto pets and backpack battles and where the bazaar previously was where you had like 12 10 events before fights so hopefully this is a nice middle ground um, I assume they've done lots of testing on the number of events but five seems like a good number uh, so you'll be battling a lot more regularly you won't be setting up this massive new board every time you go into a fight you'll have consistency between rounds uh, above that is the little trophy symbol. Uh, I assume this is how many wins you're getting. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's still looking at 10 wins. Uh, there are these little, uh, these little, these major notches uh, at 4, 6, and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
I can't do math. At 4, 7, and 10. That makes more sense. Uh, <laughs> not sure what those are for. Maybe that's sort of locking in ranked progress or something. Um, but yeah, interesting to see what they do with these. Uh, maybe that determines whether or not your win is a, your run is a win, a loss, or a draw. Who knows? Um, be interesting to see what they do with it. And then at the bottom, there's this um, crown symbol and then a bar. I have no idea what that's for. Um, none at all. Uh, it's not your health bar. I mean, the health bar is the same amount, but I don't know why they would repeat it. It's got nothing to do with Andy per se. So who knows? Maybe it's some sort of prestige type thing. I've heard prestige is a mechanic, uh, but I would assume the, the trophy helps your rank go up rather than the, the crown. We will find out more, but two measuring systems and a new clock. Like it, like it, like it. Uh, in this bottom left corner, this is something I spotted when I had my very first lance and something I wanted to bring up now. I'll get onto the portrait in a minute because there's a lot going on there. But there's these little, uh, little notches above this chest. Now, this isn't a toy, I don't think. No, no, this is a toy. This absolutely is a toy because where Dooley is in the other corner, that's your other toy. So, maybe it's a mechanic of the toy? Or maybe there is some other thing that is getting measured here. I hope that's a mechanic for the toy. I hope we don't have to track trophy, crown, and whatever this is. Um, plus, obviously, your health and everything else that's going on. I think one more track would be too much, but if that's just a toy thing, that's fine. Uh, I hope it stays that way. Okay, moving on to the big, the big changes. Um, actually... I teach you there. Before we jump into the big, big changes, one thing my eye keeps glancing on is, but next to Andy himself, there are two little buttons that are almost invisible. Um, hopefully uh, there's a tutorial that shows you that they actually exist. Uh, and I don't know if this is for every merchant. I have heard through the grapevine that there is a very strong, repeatable merchant uh, who you can infinitely reroll. Um, and this is what Andy has here, right? This this little shuffle symbol plus two, uh, or for two gold. That'll be a reroll for two gold, almost definitely. Uh, so you'll click that until you get the items you want and then put them in your board. Um, I don't know if that this is just something Andy has then or if this is something every merchant has. The Bazaar has had many iterations of this reroll function. Um, originally, every merchant had it and then only some merchants had it and then only the merchant at the end of the day had it and then it was completely gone and then it was involved in certain mechanics and they've gone to a million different places with this mechanic um i don't know how i would like to see it i know it's a big part of auto battlers in general being able to just refresh your board until you get exactly what you want but i kind of like the bazaar being this uh, sort of pivot uh design your strategy on the fly kind of game uh, it's one of the things that I really, really um, enjoyed about the initial concept. So I kind of hope this is just for Andy, just for my personal sake. However, if it's for everyone, I'm not going to be uh, not going to be sad. And on the other side, we've got this arrow, which I assume means skip, like move on to the next event sort of thing. Um, but yeah, right. Player board itself. OK, it's a very small area, but it's a very important area. And there's lots of things going on. They have either removed a number of buffs, simplified buffs, condensed buffs, or the UI expands in some way that I'm not sure. However, it looks like there are only four buffs or boons that you can get. There is speed, strength, protection, and regeneration, or whatever you want to call these. Um, in this case, this Vanessa has 9 speed, 13 strength, no protection, and no regeneration. I assume it works the same as it used to, whereas speed will recharge your items faster. Strength makes your items hit harder, so for example, this spear probably does 40 damage by default, plus 13 strength means 53 damage. Regen uh, protection would used to apply however much was in here, so say you had 100 shielding. At the beginning of the round, it would apply 100 extra health to your bar. Uh, which would be shielding. So it wouldn't be able to regenerate. And regeneration was how much health you healed per tick. Uh, so if you had five in there, you would heal five health every tick. 
Okay, those are the four moons and buffs that we have. I don't see any space for debuffs at all. However, we aren't in battle. Maybe in battle, instead of this money section over here that we have, we would instead have your debuffs. That would make sense, right? So I really like how they're using the space in a much more clever way depending on which event you're in. So for example, I think, I hope that when you're in a merchant event, you have the prices of all of your items appear. When you're not in a merchant event, when you're in a battle, when you're in an event where you can't sell items, maybe they disappear and you have to hover the card to see how much they cost. Um, freeing up the space for visual effects and other cues. And then when in battle, instead of seeing your gold, maybe you see uh, your debuffs or something. We then also have four of our passives. This used to be a thing in the bazaar originally that was taken out, then it was reworked, blah, blah, blah. Same with everything else. Um, but the passives seem to have stuck around for a while now, and they have seemed to have stuck to four passives for a long time. So it does look like we will be sticking to four passive uh, abilities. Uh, and I've seen, I believe, elsewhere that you can currently at least buy multiple of the same one, but we don't know whether or not they stack. Okay, new things. Number five next to Vanessa. Why do we have a five next to us? Is that our rank? Is that like a hero level mechanic? So that once, we're like, kind of like in other auto battlers, for example, your TFTs and your Dota Underlords, you can level up your character. And once your character hits a new level, you will see more expensive and better things in the shop. Um, so maybe this Vanessa, well, first of all, maybe the Bazaar now has an experience mechanic, and this Vanessa is currently level five. She needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little pips of experience to hit level six. And because she's level five, she's actually seeing silver items in this shop, whereas before she would have just seen bronze. That is my personal humble guess, but who knows? That would also explain what this number three above your money is for. That would be to purchase experience. So this Vanessa could buy five pips of experience if she wanted. Hopefully you also get experience from fights. And this might also be another way that they've been able to reintroduce NPC battles without making them broken so that, you know, you're, you don't, or broken in one way or another, right? So you're potentially sacrificing health um, or not sacrificing health at all, but you're not getting a monetary worth out of it. You're just going to be getting XP maybe. Who knows? Lots and lots and lots of speculation to go here. So yeah, I think XP system is my bet for what's going on here. Uh, four boons, much more reduced uh, and simplified system there. Four passives, as we've had forever. Um, and a much sort of updated visual style. It's still got that same bizarre feel to it, but it looks... It looks clean. It looks really clean. Uh, and I can see this, like, the snapping on the uh, pieces as you move them around. I can see this feeling a lot nicer with this sort of cleaner visual aesthetic to it. Um, the only thing I hope they improve is uh, a symbol for, <laughs> for each of the colors, because I can't see, or maybe at least the colorblind mode that adds that, who knows. Anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I've got. I hope we get to see some more things soon. Um, it looks like they're going to be ramping up, so stay tuned, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next time.